This uh, lecture is about the Hoffman coding, means we build the Hoffman tree. It is a compression algorithm. So it somehow, you know, takes these characters and does major compression to it. So if you look back here, I'm going to put the word here, it's compression. It does compression. Okay, now. First thing we have to do, we're going to count the, the frequencies of each character. So if I do frequency here, and then I can go back. All right, let me, let me take this out here. Okay, so for the frequency, so let me, let me take the number of characters, and then let me do their frequency. So if I look at the character A, A there is one, there is two, there are three. So basically there are three A's. Okay, how about B? How many B's are there? There is one, two, three, four, five. So there are five B's. Okay, how many C's are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six C's. How many D's are there? The D's are going to be one, two, one, two, three, four, four D's. So basically, there are four D's. Okay, how many E's are there? So basically, E's, E's, there's one, there are only two E's. Okay, now, the, so if you add these up, you get a total of 20 characters. So that's what we end up with. Okay, now the thing is, the way the Huffman coding works, the characters that appear the most should carry the should be represented using the least amount of bits instead of the eight bit ASCII. So I'm going to try and draw my Hoffman tree. So Hoffman tree. So I'm going to start with C. Okay, how many C's are there? So see, I'm going to put the highest ones first. So there are six C's. How many B's are there? There are five Bs. How many Ds are there? There are four Ds. How many As are there? There are three As. And how many Es? So there are two Es. So these are the frequencies for each character. Now, building the Hoffman tree, we're going to combine the the letters with the same more or less same frequency or close by. So I'm going to draw a tree here. There are a total of five characters E and A. Um, B and C are the same more or less. So there's five here, there's six here. So there's a total of 11 B, C. Now, this is five and four. I think it would be ideal to join these two. So if I joined these, okay, so this one now, this is gonna give me five and five and four, so that's a nine. So this becomes nine E and D. And finally, so there's no more left here. So this is my root. There are 20 of them. So it's E, A, D, B, C. So this is the root. That's the root of the tree, of the Hoffman tree. Now, what we do is the left side of the root uh, of the tree, we represent it as zero and one, zero or one and zero, it doesn't matter. So this would be zero and this would be one. This here would be zero, this would be one. How do you represent the characters? To represent C, I start from the root. 
I go 1, 1. See, I only need two bits for C. How many bits I need for B? It's also 1, 0. How many bits I need for D? It is 0, 1. How many bits I need for A? It is 0, 0, 1. How many bits for E? It's going to be 0, 0, 0. So you see, you start from the root, you go to the left, you go to the left, you go to the left. So that's why I got 0, 0, 0. Now, I have two occurrences, two, the frequency of E is 2 and 3 bits. So 2 times 3 is 6. There are 8. Uh, there is a total of 8, uh, I mean, sorry, of 3 of three um, A's, so each one is three, so that would be nine. A total of four, each one is two bits, that's eight. Total of five B's, each one is two, that's 10 bits. Total of six, each one is two, that's 12. So when I add all these up, I end up with a total of 45 bits. This is what makes it so important so now if you look back here i'm gonna write i'm gonna write the code for each character what is a zero zero one what is b one zero what is c one one what is d zero one what is e zero 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 okay so you see so when we added all these up we get 45 characters 45 bits so i'm going to take a percentage what is 45 percent of of 160 so there is a total of 160 bits when you multiply this you get 75 percent so that's that's a lot so you take it out of 100 you can see what the savings are now to do the so remember this is a compression algorithm so it's a compression algorithm so to decompress it so it's a compression so due to the compression the decompression i have to transmit the three well i have to transmit the three how many characters I'm gonna I have? There is one, two, three, four, five. There is a total of five characters. And what I'm gonna do, if you have eight bits for each of them, that's 40. Right? This is the ASCII. But now in my case, I'm gonna use three bits for each, for each code. So if I use three bits, because the largest is three bits, so I'm gonna get five. So this is going to be 5 times 3, and that's 15. So I can transmit 55 bits to do the decompression. And this is it. This is why this is such a popular algorithm. So if you go back here, if you look at the, um, the character, so what is B? B is 1, 0. What is C? 1, 1. C is 1, 1. What is A? 0, 0, 1. What is B? 1, 0, 1, 0. So that goes on. So, it's, so you can tell how much savings we have. And hope this helps. And this is known as the Hoffman compression algorithm. Thank you.